What's up grappling fans, my name is John Evans and thanks for joining me again today. We're just going to jump right back into it. We have a lot of videos planned for you as promised and today is no exception because we have Lucas Leitch in the open weight division of the 2013 World Jiu Jitsu Championship and his opponent is going to be Hadolfo Vieira. So this is a really interesting matchup because Lucas Leitch earlier on in this tournament, won his weight division, defeating Shanji Ibero in the finals, which was a big upset, not because Lucas Leitch isn't amazing, he's very, very good, known for his deep half guard, but uh, Shanji is maybe, I think, he, I saw st some statistic that he was the most decorated jiu-jitsu practitioner ever to compete. Uh, if you score, you know, gold medals, silver medals, br bronze medals in a certain manner, and you add up that score, and he far and away had the most points. So uh, that's crazy alone. But also, Lucas Leitch used to be a middleweight. He was fighting people like uh, Marcelo Garcia, who's you know also much smaller than Shanji. Um, so for him to jump up into, I believe this was the heavyweight division, uh, it was crazy just for him to make it to the finals, let alone beat maybe the most decorated jiu-jitsu competitor ever. So that was insane. But now he's going to fight Hadolfo, who is noted as one of the greatest passers of all time. Uh, so it's deep half guard expert versus uh, passing expert that's much bigger. So this should be interesting. Let's go ahead and get right to the action. And here we've got, right away, Lucas Leitch wants to get right to his game. He pulls right into half guard, and he's trying to get, he's got this arm around. It's a nice, nice underhooking arm there. He's trying to get under and take the middle. Uh, when you want that deep half guard, you want to get your head underneath their crotch. You want their weight on top of you. And that way you have a lot of sweeping options, and Lucas Leitch loves this sweep where he holds on to this far knee. The, he holds on to the gi right there. And he is able to, he, he, he gives a, a one-two, right? He can either put you on your butt or he can scoot out and come up kind of on a single leg. But uh, Adolfo is not having any of that right here. He's got this knee through. He's pushing the knee. He's keeping this weight on Lucas's chest because Lucas is violently trying to take the middle here. Uh, nearly does. But now you can see Adolfo is making this cross collar grip with his right arm. And he wants that because you can see you can see you can make it as kind of a cross face. You turn their face away from you, and that is really rough because he needs to have his face turn towards Adolfo if he wants to try to take that middle. Uh, he could still conceivably get to the middle without his face there, but it makes it a lot harder. And it's also a choke. He can he can cross his hand over to the other side and then go a double lapel choke. And also, uh, it just keeps his... He uses that elbow flared out right there. Yeah, you can see it. He keeps Lucas's shoulders to the mat, which is very good for passing. And here he tries to jump off to the far side. Now he's threatening that cross-collar choke. You can see he's he's trying to make it the triple threat. So <laughs> probably a, an octuple threat for Hadolfo because he is a master of passing. And part of that is because, oh, you can see right there, he just overhooks that leg and he and baseball slides through, gets his knee all the way through. And now he's in side control. Just he attacks so many different things at the same time. It's very frustrating for the person on bottom. You're defending one thing and you're trying to get to your game and you know, maybe he's trying to choke you. Maybe he's trying to backstep or go knee through the middle and you're worried about all of that. Meanwhile, he passes. So very, very tough. And now he's knee on belly. So he should have gotten three points for the pass and then two points for the knee on the belly right there. And Lucas is probably trying to hip out and go for a single leg, but there you can see Hadolfo goes all the way around to the far side, able to maintain his side control, but Lucas is looks like he's going to pull him back into the half guard, which he does very nicely. Wow, really nicely done. Uh, good guard retention there from Lucas. And, but now he's in he's in this Kimura half guard passing position where you turn back towards the legs, but Lucas did not have that underhook there. And I actually don't really love when you turn back towards the legs if your opponent does not have this underhook. And Adolfo definitely does just change it up here. He gets his head close to Lucas. You can see he's trying to keep that weight down on Lucas so Lucas can't get up. He's pulling this arm, trying to get Lucas's back to the mat, and he slides through one more time. Uh, his foot still caught there, but that is just a matter of time before it gets through, and there he slides out. Now, if Lucas tries to get up to his knees, 
Hadolfo's going to look to take the back, which he tried to do, but then ended up having to abandon ship and jumping to the far side. Here he uses the club pass to finish that scramble, and that's just an aggressive cross face, and you use the hand to keep the legs from coming back into the guard. But uh, he, he's able to do that, but Lucas just finding a way, finding a way to sit up to get back into this half guard. Some sick passings, but some really good guard retention from a visibly smaller uh, and probably less strong Lucas Leitch. Very nicely done. But here, oh man, this is really tough. You got somebody as strong and as big and as pressure passing uh, <laughs> as, uh, as Hidalfo, and he has that head and arm control. He's turning your head away. He's putting all of his upper body weight on your neck. Probably feels like your head's going to pop off, and then he'll just use that knee to knee slice through just the way he did. Very nicely done. His passing is ridiculous. This is why he's one of the best. And here you can see again right back to the half guard and he's going to try to get this head and arm control. He's going to get this cross face and he's going to get this as an underhook. And if he does so, then he can just knee slide through once again because you push your opponent's head away. But right here he's got this cross collar grip and he's turning it into a Guy Dars choke. Whoa, and that was sick. He took... He took Lucas Leitch's gi, fed it behind his neck, grabbed it with the left hand, and Lucas Leitch was trying to frame, push away with his right hand, uh, and Hadolfo takes the hand, and there you can see the scoreboard. Oof. Man, it didn't really reflect how hard the fight was, uh, because Lucas Leitch was doing a killer job getting that guard back. But uh, he, takes, he takes Lucas Leitch's arm and pulls it across his face, and then uses uh, the gi collar grip to make, it's basically a darse with the gi, a one arm darse, so. Uh, man, it's just a really heavy finish, and it comes on strong. Lucas Leitch just trying to frame, and that's one of the that's one of the things that can happen to you when you're aggressively framing and extending your arms. If they have that cross collar grip, they will pull to that one arm darts. But excellent job from Hidolfo, and thank you guys so much for watching. I, mean, I, I love watching big matches like that, so uh, I hope you do too. Anyway, thank you guys. My name is John Evans. I've been your host. Until next time. Goodbye.